Hello everyone, uh, there is a new variant of Corona, JN1 is spreading across Indian states like Kerala, Karnataka and Tamil Nadu. How dangerous is this variant? What are the symptoms of the infections and what are the precautions we need to take? I'll explain in this video. Now see, over the period of time, the virus mutates. Whenever it mutates, it comes with a new variant. The mutated virus is called as a variant. You have alpha variant, beta variant, delta, omicron, uh, Picora is there and the new variant is known as JN1. Now this, the mutation or the variation comes at spike protein. Spike protein is important because through the spike protein, virus spreads. Not only that, vaccines will attack the spike protein and kill the virus. Now this changed JN1 variant as per the World Health Organization is, is of low risk. It is It will not cause a serious infection. The reason is, what are the vaccines we took? They are effective against this variant, first one. Second one, uh, people who got naturally uh, corona infection, they have developed immunity. That immunity can control this uh, virus. So it is of low risk, but the infection spread will be more. That is the reason why in Singapore, there are around 56,000 new cases are there. Even in India, it started in Kerala, now it spread to Karnataka and Tamil Nadu, there are around 2,000 new cases are there. Now, what are the symptoms of this new variant? These are similar to the old variant uh, corona symptoms only. People will have headache, fever, stuffy nose, sore throat. In certain people, certain gastrointestinal disturbances are there like mild diarrhea. In certain people, breathlessness will be there. Now, people who are older than 65 years and people who has got liver and kidney problems, the symptoms may be a little bit severe one. Still, people are uh, getting recovered after 4 to 5 days. Now, what are the precautions? The similar precautions are using sanitizer. See, through the hands itself, mostly the infection spreads through cough and sneeze. So, using a sanitizer will kill the organism on the hands and using a mask will avoid the spread of infection. So, this is what is the precaution is required. So, as of now, it is of low risk, which is directly, uh, uh, directly explained by World Health Organization. But we need, to be, we need to take some precautions like using sanitizer, mask and everything. I hope this information is useful. Thank you.